Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to discuss today from front to back. There were more solar flares, including an X-class eruption. There was a significant geomagnetic storm, and we've got an excellent paper on solar flares and earthquakes. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and it was the northern sunspots and the southern ones incoming on the left that produced the flaring activity. They were impulsive flares, but the biggest one did manage a small CME event from it. We're on higher alert here in the coming days after these new spots proved themselves the last 24 hours. You can see the X-Class event on the right side here on the X-ray flux chart. The flare flashing is easily noticeable from those northern and southern incoming spots here in 131 angstroms, which highlights the X-ray and extreme ultraviolet light produced by the flares. The X-flare and the last M-flare were produced by the northern grouping. We've zoomed in on those here. Minor CME from the larger flare appears to be heading mostly northward and away from the Earth. While we watch for more flares, folks, a very minor solar wind enhancement arrived at Earth yesterday and once again produced way more geomagnetic activity than it should have. Plasma speed barely cracked 500 kilometers per second with modest density, but we got a level 3 geomagnetic storm condition that persisted for six hours. Folks, it's appropriate that as it was happening, we released this video on all the excess space weather effects we've been taking from minor to modest solar activity. As many of you watched it, another such event was unfolding here at the Earth. Perhaps the phi angle flip during the impact allowed it to have a bit more gusto, but it shouldn't have been this significant. This is way too much. No way we should have taken such a geomagnetic storm from this small of space weather. The magnetic pole shift and weakening of Earth's magnetic field strikes again. Our lone article today hits solar flares actually with a confirmation in every case studied of the excess seismic activity after the solar flares due to a cascading geoelectric effect through the global electric circuit from the ionospheric excitement of the flare. By the way, Last night's flare occurred with the subsolar point in the West Pacific, and this morning the Philippines took the largest earthquake of the last day. We now have dozens of papers on this topic, the sun triggering earthquakes, but those same scientists still largely deny it can have any effect on global weather. Funny how that works. We greatly appreciate your support. We're all eyes on the sun. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.